nothing like honorable work. Thanks again for giving me the opportunity. Oh, I should mention that Elder Wade Inc. returned a moment ago. If you seek them out, I dare say they'll have tidings for you. Oh yeah, he was going to, they are going to talk. They're going to talk about whether or not we could have the, the thing to go and take care of Titania. Well, you know what? They gave us, I think that, that, I think that, that, that vision is enough of a reason to have us take him out. Unless you want to deal with that for the rest of your lives. Ah, there you are. I'm informed that you've been an excellent patron to our people. For, the, for that, you have my thanks. Now then, you will be pleased to hear that we've come to a decision regarding the scepter. If you would gather your companions, I will deliver our answer. Before I begin, please allow me to express my gratitude for your kind patronage. Having depri been deprived of purpose for so long, our people are overjoyed at having been able to serve again. Serve again? Why can't I talk today? But on the, to the matter of the stone scepter. During our deliberations, we were forced to concede that we will never have the power to deal with our fallen monarch. We can release Titania neither from the castle nor from torment. In light of this, we have decided to entrust their fate to you. Take it. The stone scepter of the Numo. This makes three relics. One more and we can arrange a meeting with the warden. I said arrange a meeting with the warden. Ere you continue your quest, allow me to enlighten you as regards your foe. Know that Titania is not a name, but a title bestowed upon one chosen to lead the pixies by the grace of nature. This leader, upon Ilmeg's founding, arose as ruler of all Feyfolk fe to bring order to our righteous kind. Right, riotous kind. In our turn, we Feyfolk render our blessing unto nature, unto water, wood, and wind, that our king might be further empowered. Though they are become a sin eater, their powers remain unchanged. When you face them, be prepared to face the full fury of nature. Oh dear, is there anything else we should know? Anything else? Hmm. Only that if you feel unready for the challenge, and none here would blame you for it, you are welcome to remain among us a while longer. After all, I myself have yet to enjoy your patronage, and who knows when I will have the next chance. We would see that you are comfortable, of course, and do all in our power to make you feel at home. <laughs> that sounds sus. Oi! Oh, Feul! Is he? Was he gonna do the thing? Honestly, I look away for one moment, and every fairy in their nuncle tries to steal my sapling from me. This is my sapling, mine. Do you hear? Not yours, and not the false, false. And anyone who so much as thinks about trying to seduce her will, wish they hadn't. Oh, they tried to do the thing. They tried to keep us. Why? The final relic is a pair of shoes wrought of crystal. They are held in the Amaro's safekeeping at their settlement, Wallachdorf. It beareth, beareth mentioning that these Amaro are unlike those which thou hast heretofore encountered. Owing to a peculiarity of evolution, they are capable of speech, and thus we might negotiate with them as we have the Fey folk. Though it sadden us, saddens us to see you leave, we wish you well on your way. When you arrive at Wolikdorf, seek out the largest of the Amaro. His name is Sichteto, and he is their leader and the bearer of the relic. They tried to do the thing. They tried to do the thing to us. That wasn't very good. Ardbert? Oh, Ardbert. Ardbert. Enjoy the noms, A train. Thanks for stopping by. It's also nice to see ya. He called me Ardbert. Saw a special two two for seven dollars beef and cheddars. I haven't had Arby's in so long. Oh, forgive me. I was having a dream. Seldom do men visit us. Did I hear you all right? 
You desire the crystal shoes that you may confront the light warden? No, no, you mustn't think such thoughts. Even if you are indeed immune to the light's corruption as you claim, vanquishing the king will bring you naught but sorrow. Forget this folly. Return once you came. While we appreciate your concern, we have no choice in the matter. Will you not reconsider? Come, my friends, let us leave him with his thoughts. Ah, uh, tis harder by far to change the minds of they who mean well than they who mean ill. Forgive me, but I'm not sure I understand. And little wonder, "'Tis the first time thou hast set foot here. "'Would behoove you all to learn something of the nature of this community, I think, "'and there is no surer way than to speak with its members. "'In such wise, you will come to understand Sito's reasoning for refusing us, "'and I hope gain an insight into how he may yet be persuaded. "'So I bid ye seek out the Amaro and make yourselves known unto them. "'A gentle touch shall suffice by way of a greeting.' Kerr, Kerr. Ah, but how long has it been since I felt man's touch? I cannot help but be reminded of my master's hand. He was a knight of Vobert, a noble and valiant soul. But like so many others, he died fighting the Sin Eaters. Though he is long departed, I remain in this land out of respect for his memory. Oh. She stays here because, because of her master? Who passed away fighting the sin eaters are you one of those treasure hunters there's nothing left for you here i like to be petted ah that tickles enough i never had a master i'm not accustomed to it not that I dislike your kind, you understand. On the contrary, we Amaro were bred to be fond of men. In the beginning, we were all of us mindless beasts, but then a mage of Ranka gave us the gift of intelligence that we might better serve our masters. After that empire fell, those with the gift eventually died out. On rare occasions, however, we are born of the seed of our ancestors in us. If we live long enough amongst men, this seed may quicken, restoring the power of speech to us amongst other things. So it was with me, though I never had a master, as I told you. Okay, so you've never had a master. You've just lived here. This one's just lived here. The other one had a master and lives here because their master died and it's out of respect. But it's he's this one said if you live amongst men long enough, then you learn speech. So were there lots of boys here? Nimbus. What is all the commotion? Did something happen while we slumbered? I gotta pay. Grr, what's happening? Why am I being padded? It's, it's wonderful. Seldom do we have the chance to enjoy the attentions of men. Your kind are loath to come here for fear of the Fey folk. But then we are Fey folk too. When we first made our home here, we swore an oath to the Fairy King, you see. Tis easy to forget sometimes. Oh, they swore an oath to the Fairy King? I wonder what kind of oath that is, and if that's why we're not getting. If they're not giving us the shoes. Thou hast peered into the hearts of the Amaro, I take it. They're very loyal. Thou canst not choose but see the intense and abiding love they bear for men. It is out of concern for our welfare and not scorn that Sito seeketh to dissuade us from confronting their king. 
Yet confront their king we must. And to that end, we must needs have the crystal shoes. We must needs, Sito. Oh, there's a creative mode or a survival mode. Okay, so I could just go in and, and, and like build stuff and not worry about bats coming to find me. Cory, might I prevail upon thee to confer with Sito in private? The task of slaying the Light Warden will ultimately be thine, and it is for thee, I believe, that he worrieth the most. Tell him of thy great many deeds. Spoken in earnest, thy words may yet move him to change his mind. It is so hard to read Yuri Anjay's words. <laughs> You have spoken with my brethren. Then you see it is not out of scorn that I deny you the relic. I simply cannot bear to see men fight and die. Not anymore. None of us can. To lose one who has placed a gentle hand on us, even once, fills our hearts with untold sorrow, as my brothers and sisters will readily attest. Oh, they're very empathetic. This is something I must do. He's very verbose. Yes, right? Oh, what am I to make of such declarations? Tell me, why do you wish this? This land is no longer man's to fight for, nor will your doing so compel the Fey folk to change. And in order to obtain the other relics, you will have already have paid the due price. Not more is owed. We have it. This is the last one. Why would you risk all to face our fallen king? Uh, to save the world? What did you say? The very words. Could it be mere coincidence? Very well. You may believe what you say, but we shall see if you have the strength to do it. Sin Eaters have been prowling the area of late. Prove yourself against them and I will consider giving you the relic. See that you are well prepared, then meet me in the clearing to the east. There, I will lure out the fiends that you may slay them. This is a very nice bird. He's a very, he's very nice. I enjoy him. Yamaro. Very giant Borb. Fun. I will use my voice to lure out the Sin Eaters, as I once did when I hunted with an old friend. A feeble cry for the Ravenous, a mighty roar for the Territorial. I still remember the tricks. But come, we begin at your signal. Should I white mage the... Uh... Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. Two of them? Oh my god. Are you helping me, Sito? You don't have to. I got this, bro. Oh. Maybe not. What is this? Oh, my e spirit cage. Alright. Sin Eaters. Wait, well, where did all these Sin Eaters come from? Sito, see? Look at me. Look at what I did. You made short work of these creatures. I will not deny it. I have seen enough. 
Let us return to Wallachdorf. By the ease with which, which you slew those Sin Eaters, I see that you are capable. However, I still require time to think. And if you should be willing, there is a favor I would ask of you. Okay. It was not a test of your strength, but a personal request. Please hear my tale. A while ago, I fought Sin Eaters who had wandered into Il Meg. In the heat of battle, I dropped a prized possession, a medallion. Of all the places that it should fall, it was Long Mirror Lake. We Amaro are not fond of water. We certainly cannot dive very deep. I briefly entertained the thought of tuning, turning to the fo Foth, but they are more likely to keep my medallion out of mischief than return it to me. I had despaired of retrieving my treasure, but having seen what you are capable of, perhaps you will be able to find it. While I wander your quest for the shoes, will you go, go and search for my medallion? If it should elude even you, I will accept that it is gone forever. All right, we gotta go find him. Yukio, thank you so much for the lurk, my friend. Ah, you are returned. How fared your search? My medallion! Oh, you talks. found it! Oh, I know not how to thank you. It is my most treasured possession. A gift from a dear departed soul. He was a traveler, and together we journeyed to the ends of the world and back again. <laughs> when I was young. In those days, I could not speak, but we found joy in each other's company nonetheless. Oh, the memories. This medallion he found during an adventure, fashioned it into a necklace for me, his partner in crime. I had not the words to tell him then. But it filled my heart with pride. I was so, so happy. They're basically like golden retrievers. His name was It was Arthur? And he was my friend. Oh, um. thou sayest. Everyone blamed him for the flood. Him and his comrades. Some few who spoke up for them, of the many whose lives they had touched. But as the years went by, their voices were drowned out by those who only uttered the adventurers' names as a curse. It was too much to bear, and so I left behind men and their lies, and came to this place. Oh, because of Our Arthur. Birch was a trusting soul, constantly being drawn into the troubles of others. Yet in spite of this, he never thought twice when he saw someone in need. He always tried to help. It was no different then. The world needed heroes. It needed him. And yet, uh, he was a good man. He deserved to be happy. I wish I could have told him that, at least. At least Arbor got to hear it. Oh, he's so loyal. I'm sure Arbor knows how you feel. He was just here. You remind me of him. Your kindness. Bella, <laughs> not now. When the Amaro were created, we were granted the ability to perceive souls. <laughs> Thus did we recognize our masters. That ability has long since faded from our kind. 
but due perhaps to my reversion, I can see your soul. Faintly, but surely. It is reminiscent of art birds. <laughs> Strikingly so. Of course, you are you and no one else. We are defined not by the soul we are born with, but the path we walk. Nevertheless, I cannot help but feel that this is more than mere coincidence. Which is why I will place my faith in you. The relic, it is yours. Thank you, Sito. This trouble, terrible trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, the Fae know how to ruin a moment. Has something happened at Lida Loran? Together with the twins, we were playing tricks on some nasty mortals to stop them from setting foot in Il Meg. At first, they ran off screaming, which was lots of fun. But then a scary, bony, wrinkly old mortal came along and spoiled <laughs> everything. None of our tricks seemed to work on him, which is no fun at all. And now they're getting closer and closer. Ranjit. If he Ranjit. manages to find his way in. All our efforts will have been for naught. Ranjit. Should we be discovered ere our mission here is complete and the Light Warden yet liveth, our task will be rendered nigh impossible. Hi. If we are, are to working? prevail, we must needs divide our forces. Thus do I propose the following. Whilst thou salliest forth to meet with the Light Warden, we shall join in the effort to obstruct the trespasses. Hey, I go by myself, Herc. Should we succeed in staying their advance, all the better. Yet even should we fail, if we can but delay our enemy's arrival long enough for thee to secure victory, our plan may still be deemed a success. So the moment the lights go out, we all beat a hasty retreat, yes? What if it's daytime, though, Thingrid? <laughs> Let me come with you. I have the blessing, too. You have to ask no, Thancred. You'll only get underfoot. Now come. He's so mean to her, I can't stand it. And I mean, I guess she knows it too. I think it's even worse because she knows it. I wish there were more I could do. Please be careful. But he's, he doesn't own her. She, but I guess she's a child. It's not like he's her father. Doesn't owe him anything except her life. <laughs> You got something in your eye? I that was very that was very sweet. Forgive me, it seems my indecision has cost you precious time, but I'm convinced now, convinced that you will triumph. To the south you will find the bridge to Liagia. As the bearer of the four relics, the gate to the castle will open to you. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna go do the thing. Gate has recognized that you bear all four relics. The seal is broken. All that remains is to enter the castle and confront Titania, a being bereft of reason and mercy. It is sure to be a ferocious battle, but if anyone can bring an end to our king's torment, it is you. But the side boob, right? Yet know this, my adorable sapling, though we fey folk may appear to live unfettered lives, there are still laws that bind us. 
to take back as much as it's taken, to create as much as it's destroyed, to give as much as it's received. In all things, balance must be preserved, and the same will be asked of you. But worry not. Come what may, your beautiful branch will ever be at your side. The Dancing Plague. 1518 was a case of dancing mania that occurred in Strasbourg? In the Holy Roman Empire? Somewhere between 50 and 400 people took to dancing for weeks? Who goes there? Are you the one that broke the seal? It's me. That's not real. She's so pretty, though. Ah, so much time lost. So much frolicking and feasting left undone. <laughs> Rogan. Stop it. You're so annoying. Stop. Okay, here we go. We have play. For the night right. you can sleep when you're dead. You can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> it is, people died. I, that's not true. I need you to find me a credible source other than Wikipedia. music. Locking and dropping like flies. <laughs> We're sick of this crap. This area. This is so cool. Oh, it's the roots to grow. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Is this you? I actually...
Oh, no more, no more, no more. Mustard seed. Mustard seed. Peaceful blossom. that does but it did damage I guess Mustard seeds a cutie patootie. Oh god. Oh my god. Just kidding. Oh my god, I'm in two of them. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. War and peas? Like peas? this up and hope for the best. <laughs> this is so much fun. Let's play some more. Let's play some more. Dancing flag a plague. The hundreds of citizens of Strasbourg dance in control of the and appeared Mania lasted for two months. That's not real, Seedling. They had meth in the 1500s. Did they really? Wait, why did I take so much damage? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my god. Oh. Well. Where are you? I can't see you. There's only a couple of parts in there that were a little bit of blood. I was like, oh no, I don't know what to do.
Look at that. Beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Bun Bun and Lee Lizard Healing Services. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Flutter Baby. Thank you so much for the recommend for the raid earlier. It was so nice to see you again. Take care of yourself. Get some good rest. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I will see you later, my friend. You have freed our fallen king. Not that I expected any less, my Snayak. The dress, the crown, the scepter, the shoes. The time has come for these relics to serve their true purpose. For they are not only keys to the castle, they are also blessings to be bestowed upon the new king. The way into the castle is opened when it is time to relieve the reigning monarch of the throne. And the brave soul who does the deed has the honor of taking their place. However, should you ascend the throne, you will become one of us, never again to live as men do. I turned into a fairy? I don't want to be a fairy. My adorable sapling, my precious mortal. We fey folk live forever, but such is not your virtue. To strive for a dream you will never see. To sow seeds that others might one day taste the fruits of your garden. That is the beauty of your kind. Burn bright and shine as only you can. These blessings your lovely branch will accept in your stead. You? Fayula's gonna be king? I think she just wanted to be king. She makes it seem like She's doing us a favor, which she probably is. I feel like this was selfish of Feoul. She just wanted to become king. Looks so beautiful! Kinla, Ilichla, Ilmek, Okbra. Now, shall we attend to those unwise enough to trespass in our realm? I guess I don't know who else would should be king other than her. <laughs> oh, bye bye. Rajit. Confound it. How did they get here so fast? Damn these pixies and their tricks! Oh no! How in the seven hells? Listen well. We come in pursuit of villains who have fled to this land. You know who and where they are. Now show yourselves and answer me before I lose my patience. Oh, stop it hurts, it hurts. Can you squish a pixie to death? <laughs> Enough, lift the enchantment. Where's Alice and Thinkred? Minfilia, willful child. How many times must I come to collect you? Hi, Batista. How are you? Welcome in. I won't return to your moor, and I won't let you hurt my friends. Where's my man's thing, Cressy? 
What is this stance? Where did you learn it? No oracle I trained would make such an unseemly show of herself. No, your shame, gal. You're powerless. You have no life nor purpose save that which our master sees fit to permit. What does Alice say right now? Who are you to dictate her purpose? What is that? To lock her away and deny her a, a red life. mage. Oh, she's a red mage, right? If she was powerless, it's because of you, you sanctimonious swine. But no longer. Fool! Defiance only begets more suffering. It is through acceptance alone that one may find solace in this God's forsaken world. Look, the sky. We've done it. Time to She's retreat. <laughs> the warrior of darkness nice red has major. triumphed. How are you doing, Batista? How have General, you been? What are our orders? What do we do? General? We do what we came to do. Subdue this rabble and you find the warrior senator? of darkness. Forward, men! Take the villains captive! Are you deaf? I said... <gasps> They're leaf people! <laughs> what? What's happening? Water? That wasn't there before. Is this a foul? The Fua? We hate them. I mean, we, I mean, they, that, we like them for that. I love them. I love the new, uh, the new mo. I love them. They're very nice. And like the Fua that tried to kill me. I don't like these guys either. <laughs> They're just a little bit too trickery. Oh, you know what? I take the Numo tried to try to keep me for themselves too. What's the matter with you? So they you just turn people into dead. leaves? You get turned into shrubbery? Well, that doesn't seem very nice, does it? The new king of Ilmeg. General, they come in greater numbers. We must retreat. All who stand with a warrior of darkness shall face justice. Well, let's My fight right now, Ranjit. It. I'll fight you right now, Ranjit. Let's go. One v one me. <laughs> I don't know, is that the same dress the other one wore? Because maybe it's maybe we should have washed it first. Maybe it was a little stinky. Man, those little frogs tried to kill me. Why are we being nice to them? <laughs> I see. Well, it's a good thing Fair all volunteered to become king in your stead, for all our sakes. We are grateful for your timely aid, Fair all or should I say, your majesty. It was the first night in recent memory. We all of us but wished to make the most of it. That's something you must remember about us Fey folk. 
Though our existence may be eternal, we exist only for the present. We live in the here and now, paying no mind to futures that <laughs> may or may not be. Look at this shrubbery here. <laughs> to wit, we are not driven as men are. We cannot fight for such causes as men do. Does that mean you won't aid us against the Sin Eaters? <laughs> not unless the mood takes us. But if it was to repay a debt, well then, that's another matter. I think that she owes us. To take back as much as is taken. To create as much as is destroyed. To give as much as is received. Such is the way of Il Meg. She's grown up so much. By this law, we shall lend you our strength. In return for the beautiful sky you have restored to us. In times of need, do not hesitate to call. Oh, look how beautiful those wings are. Oh, I'll be sad to lose you. Silly sapling. I shall remain at your side. Even should my body be in the castle, tis a simple thing to have a little part of me accompany you. Treat them as you would his nifts. a little bit of a conspiracy she just wanted to become king that's okay better her than us i guess you're certainly alive well it's good to hear that you're alive i'm doing good i'm doing good you're we're enjoying some final fantasy 14 we're not we're not obsessed at all we're obsessed a lot. <laughs> oh, hey, Saber. How are you? Welcome in. You remember this place? Yeah, the trial was fun. I like the trial. Ne'er for a moment did I doubt that thou wouldst triumph over the foe. Yet the majesty of thine achievement delighteth me nonetheless. Night hath returned to Il Meg, and we stand one step closer to delivering the first from its doom, averting the eighth umbral calamity. Tis but a Pity thou wert not present to see the Fey folk put the Omorians to flight. Tis a sight to raise the spirits, I do assure thee. Ah, but what valuable allies they may prove, were the mood only to take them. Oh, and we got an Aether. Amana, is the Crystal Azark here? Well, everything seems to be okay. The Crystarian. Yes, Yulma was plainly more concerned with finding us. How flattering. You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. It is him! Do you remember that guy? The Asian from... For one to study the annals of Garlean history. The Garlean Asian. the visage on many a page. Though by rights, its youth should long since have faded. The clone boy! He's clone boy! Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus So Scalvus, founding father of the Garlean Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. Wait, but how did he get here? As for my true identity... I am Emmet Selk, Asia. Emmet Selk. Guy 
Elias spoke of you, a native of the source. Equal in rank to La Habrea. And you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us. Oh, they weren't around when we met. When they oh, Behold did we not meet him? Restored to its former glory. But we saw Have the cutscenes. He was he was with with Oh, it is truly deeply. I forget their names. Infuriating. Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? <laughs> Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining. <sighs> Had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. But you had to come and ruin it all. It's not nice to point. Thanks to your meddling, light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters. Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? I guess the Essians can Happy go from different go shards. Because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Look, it did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all. But that's no different from what La Habre did. And we all know how well that ended for him. And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Cooperation. I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. Since time immemorial, you and yours have labored to rejoin the 13 shards at the cost of countless lives. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Nay, our objective is the same as it ever was. Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once. Might we not seek to find common ground? For good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew. Scheme is a clue. He's a clone. Heart's content. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye. To understand what drives the hero of the source, to determine if our goals are truly incompatible. So come, shed your preconceptions. See beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. I don't trust him. Think of it. I mean, I shouldn't trust him. But how would he want to cooperate with us? Oh. Thou hast delivered thy proposal. Was that a card? Was that an astrologian card? 
If I may offer thee counsel, however, to make thy case via an illusion reflecteth poorly upon thy sincerity. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Asian Slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. But you can just clone yourself. Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. I take my leave, friends. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon. Hmm. Cooperation? He can't be serious, can he? Well, we've certainly been given much to ponder, but first things first, we should report to the Exarch. You can run along, Corey. We're ca perfectly capable of handling this little task. In light of your recent exertions, I'd say you've earned a rest. Go on, take yourself off to bed. We'll see you later, refreshed and ready for more. Well, we're going to our bedroom. We know what that means. Ardbart, I know you're here. Talk to your friend Sito. Seto. Sandwiches on fruit. I hope the past few days have not been overly taxing. Pray take your rest and recover. Is that from the Crystal Exarch? From the Exarch, is it? Ah. Uh, with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move, you know. You probably think you're talking to yourself. Still, he's keeping you well fed. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was set adrift. I know little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Not that it matters. It's Emmett Selk we should be concerned about. He came off like such a bad guy. I guess I just don't remember him. Maybe I'll do some NG Plus this weekend. Consumed by light, the Asian in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. Looks like they're on the moon. Desperate as we were. We heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Asian's own making. They cannot be trusted, none of them. But Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did, and it cost us everything we held dear. Tell me about Seto. I want to put. I want to know about Seto. A bug on your nose, honey? What? What about Seto? What is that to say? <sighs> All right. He's done some growing. When we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big. And he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. Oh. What about <laughs> you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change. I have... I have a buffalo calf that I really like. <laughs> I 
Did I eat my sandwich? Hello. Honey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just redeeming the treats now. I mean, if anything, I think it teaches them to be patient while I'm streaming because they might get cookies. <laughs> no. It's it. The time between them getting treats and them being annoying is... I don't remember, you know? Like, if they were in the act of doing something annoying, then I wouldn't want it. But, I mean, if it's happening a couple minutes afterwards, it doesn't reinforce the behavior at all. Oh, Plus, my dogs are just naturally just annoying. Welcome our guest. Am I the guest? Why is everybody so angry with me? Oh, it's Emmett. Emmett Selk. The Asian. Emmett the Asian. Please. Did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Your exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe? Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon? I gotta show you guys Even something. If there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. So petty. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Put each and every Light Warden to the sword. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Why do we want to be Christ allies with him, though? Worthy of bearing the burden of truth. I meant sulk. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. <laughs> fisticuffs? <laughs> oh. It has to do with... Yuriange. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. Pity. Well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. What's she up to? Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. Yeah, but then uh, the, the, the Eternal want a different goal than we have. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? What's that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most likely. As if we'd believe. He's so moody. Why are you so hot and moody? Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. I don't know. I'm sure you will. But consider for a moment. If he meant simply to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. 
It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. That may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Amareng, and Raktika remain. We'll go get them, Thangra, don't worry. Indeed. And their precise <laughs> whereabouts like that? are as yet unknown. <laughs> why does it look like that? Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take our meringue in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmore that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. There you will find your stone. The warden will evade your grasp for long. Man, why is it taking us so long to meet up with the Shola? That's right. But we haven't spoken much since you left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is disinclined to speak with me. You have visited her. Have you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. What's that? A missive from Lord Valthry. He invites me to join him in Yulmor to discuss the recent conflict at Lida Laral. And? Did he even bother oh, to offer any Oh, right. Proof? It's obviously a I forgot about that. When I he said his horse is there. Not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. His feet look very realistic. We looked at this guy's feet. Diminished so far from the tower. I highly it's recommend you do so. To take. Master Alphano, might I impose upon you to accompany me to Yulmore prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Of course. Alphano is wanted in Yulmore. Why are we taking Alphano? Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. He's a wanted man. Before you leave, I would make a request of you. There is a church, or rather, the ruins of a church at Fort Job. And might I ask you go there before seeking out Ishola? It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Alas, it has long since fallen into disuse. Yet within that hall, there remains a tablet whose writings, I believe, may prove of use to Ishola. At the very least, such a relic would make a, su a suitable gift for your reunion. A most considerate job proposal. Very well. Ere we depart to Raktika, we shall journey into Fort Job that we might secure this relic. Here amidst these ruins, we will find the Church of the First Light, and within that hollowed hall the tablet we seek. Time is of the essence, my friend. Let us be quick. At the height of Lakeland's prosperity, these sites serve not as man's final bastion, but as a testament to his ingenuity and architectural prowess. The Church of the First Light was responsible for many such marbles, building majestic chapels in every corner of the realm. Alas, the flood with its inexorable tides would drown nigh every one, and did all but put an end to the religion as a whole. For the creatures which then did rise from that fulgent deluge were seen as agents of divine punishment, said to devour sin and sinner both, whence came the name of Sin Eater. The people were lost, seemingly forsaken by their gods. 
Yet where there is light, there hath ever been shade, and twas in the dark they sought solace. The most devout of these worshippers of shadows did then migrate to the Raktika Great Wood, but that is a tale for another time. For now, let us find what remaineth of the chapel here. Do you have a level, uh... You have all level 90s. Do you wanna, do you wanna do... Aye, this is indeed the church we seek. It's surprisingly intact. What little is left of the church as I've seen until now has always borne the scars of decades of disuse. Its subterranean construction hath done much to protect the hall from the ravages of time, yet the reason for its remarkable preservation may be deduced from its decoration. As faith in the light did wane, so rose reverence for the dark, and its followers did want for places of worship. To be plain, the standards which do adorn these walls do not belong to those who built them, but to worshippers of the dark, the knights blessed, blessed, who subsequently migrated to Raktika, yes? Indeed, twas beneath the shaded boughs of the Raktika Greatwood that they finally found sanctuary. Often many times did Yulmore make spurious overtures of friendship unto them, but they are no fools. The Exarch knoweth full well that Ishtola, in her seclusion, doth labor to learn all she may of the blessed in their past. Tis why he sent us here, I now see. The tablet of which she spoke no doubt provideth a glimpse into the history that she so yearneth to comprehend. Well then, we'd better hurry up and find it. Okie dokie. Okay, all right. Hold on, sorry, I got stuck in an instance little location here. Locate the time tablet hidden. I don't know what I'm looking for. Wait, is this it? Oh. Found it. Time for bed now. Have a good night, Scar. Thank you for stopping by. Get some good rest, my friend. Within the altar, thou sayest. Not escapeth thy night, would seem. This is indeed the tablet we seek. Curious. These engravings predate the night's blessed. If I am not mistaken, they are writ in the script of the ancient empire of Ranka, whose capital once stood in the midst of what is now Raktika. Those twill be no small matter to decipher them. Hmm. A fine gift for our seeker of truth. Tis plain the exarch understandeth Ishola only too well. But come, let us quit this place and make ready for our journey into the woods.